What's going on, everybody? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to be talking about Wafu. Okay? This individual right here has shown up in the Wafu. Okay? I'm not knocking this individual because uh, from what I can see, I went over their stuff. It's nothing too crazy. Well, let me tell you something, guys. If you're doing this... That goes on for hours and hours, and people love this individual. Okay, they love to watch this kind of stuff and say that this is great. And I even saw this kind of stuff. This. Full body pillows of what looks like a child. Okay. And people want to buy full body pillows of that. And that creator you just saw has full body pillows as well. With a little, it looked like a little child, right? And it's on the it's on the pillow showing like a winky face and stuff like this. Listen, young man, I wanna want to talk to you about this. Let's let's be real for a second. I'm not against anime. I'm not against what comes with anime. Anime is a beautiful life. Okay? However, Anime has become far more sexual than it's been in a very long time. Okay? Anime has always had some sexual components. Even back in Inuyasha, I remember there being some sexual stuff. But in you know, the Seven Deadly Sins was really crazy. But guys, we got too many men today that are getting on the internet and going to YouTube and looking at this kind of stuff and watching these kind of streamers, even... Uh, these kind of streamers, even on Twitch and stuff like that, who are watching these people who sound like little kids and act like little kids. The whole ooh stuff and all that kind of stuff. Men! Enough is enough! I know we like to get on the women and say that the women are making money off us and the women are doing bad things because they're, taking, uh, they're doing stuff with our loneliness. And I understand that. I understand how big OnlyFans is. I get all that. But here's my thing. One thing you guys do not understand is that sometimes you've got to have your own discipline. Of course, you're going to get taken advantage of if you never learn any discipline. And I know it's hard because it seems like every single way you turn, you're getting butt cheeks thrown in your face. I get it. But to say that you're going to sit back and let it happen to you and complain every day about it happening to you without making any action doesn't make any sense to me either. At some point, you got to grow up. I say this all the time, man. What I see now is men who are in their 30s act like men that are in their 16s. It's hard for me to tell the difference between a man in their 30s and a man who's 16 years old or a boy who's 16 years old. They listen to the same music. They act the same. They dress the same. And they look at the same thing. Um, they go on these wufu, uh, wafu uh, streams. They give all this money. And I know we want to blame it all on men being lonely. But one thing that men don't have anymore is purpose. One thing I see men lacking a lot of is discipline. And this is coming from a fat guy. I had to learn to be more disciplined. Okay. As I've gone on the weight loss journey, I've learned where my discipline was failing me. Right. You see here in the back, you can't see where my arm is. You see that those paper towels in that bowl back there? That bowl is just full of fruit. At one point in my life, guys, I was eating a bowl of Velveeta every morning. Not working out. Completely undisciplined. 400 pounds. I get it. And you know what happened the more I fell into my weight, the more weight I gained? You know what happened more and more and more? I fell more into this, not this kind of stuff. But I fell more into the porn. Right? I fell more and more into the darkness. I fell more and more into sex addiction. I found myself in relationships that were so toxic, but I wanted to have the coochie so bad I would do anything for it. At one point, I was taking care of kids that weren't mine for the coochie that I got once. But I was so addicted to getting coochie from any girl and every girl that I would do the weirdest things I've ever thought of in this life i was a simp to the utmost degree i was an embarrassment because i decided that i was gonna get fat and the more fat i got the more depressed i got the less discipline i got 
what we're seeing today, men, and I understand the dating world is hard. I understand that the women are always throwing their bodies at us. And I've talked about the women. We'll talk about women again, before, you know, in at a later date. But at the same time, men, you got to pick yourself up sometimes. You cannot let yourself to fall into gaining weight. You need, you need to, I'm not saying you got to go to the gym, but you got to do some push-ups. You got to do something. You got to do something every day that causes you to be disciplined that you don't necessarily like doing. I do push-ups every day now. I eat this bowl of fruit every day as much as I can eat instead of eating the velvety cheese. And then obviously I eat other foods, but I'm saying one those are things I discipline myself. Another thing I do at, personally at night is I read, right? Every night. Never changes. No matter if I feel good, if I feel terrible, if I feel great. These disciplines help you guys because when you sit around and you're idle, the more you sit around with no discipline and no purpose, you're going to fall into this porn. You're going to fall into watching these anime girls. You're going to fall into spending a lot of your money on your OnlyFans. It happens. The only way to get out of this is to continue to fight and to continue to show more and more discipline every single day because if you do not... Guys, look, it only gets worse. You'll be buying these kind of pillows, man. You'll be buying those pillows with the little, the whatever that is, teenage girl, woman, I don't know. It, but to me, it doesn't look like something you should have on a full body pillow. And the reason I'm going after this is because I saw men defending this. Like, oh, yeah, it's just a full body pillow. What's wrong with that? You should not be buying a full body pillow as a grown man of a, of a, a woman on there. To do what with, man? Because I watch enough video game play. Be honest with you, I watched a lot of Let's Plays growing up. I have watched enough men react to animes to know that it's getting deeper and deeper. Young men can. I see young men talk about how hot a cartoon character is. They'll talk about how hot a video game character is, and you can't even enjoy the video game play because men are so sexually uh, driven that they can't help themselves with saying stuff about a child. Sometimes. You know that little game, what was it called, Danganronpa? I watched a grown man play that game and say stuff about characters that were in there canonically were in high school. And they were still saying disgusting things about it, guys. And the game was pushing you to say those kind of stuff. That's a problem. Why would a video game want to portray high school girls in a sexual manner? Ask yourself questions. Why do they do that? It's it's. It is brain rot for us, men. It is brain rot for us, men. The more we look at porn, the more motivation we lose. The more motivation we lose, the more we stop going out. The more we stop going out, the more lonely we get. The more lonely we get, the fatter we get. The fatter we get, the more depressed we get. And guess what? The more depressed we get, the more porn we look at. It's just a big circle. You start looking at porn, and it just slowly loses your motivation to start talking to women. And then it just keeps going. And you stay in this endless cycle, never able to get out. And it's getting worse and worse. We got, like I said, we got men not even talking to women. They're falling in love with anime characters. Anime characters. Cartoons, people. We've got to make a choice to continue to fight this stuff. Because if we don't, because if we don't, it will only get worse day by day. I want you guys to really think about this. Let me know. Do I mean, be honest. Do you have romantic attractions to anime characters? And we see women do this too, where they have attractions to anime guys. Okay? It's still messed up. I don't care who has a romantic attraction. These are cartoons played by somebody who drew them and is having a vocal actor. These aren't real people. You're falling in love with a personality that's not real. That's why AI was able to just come in and start sweeping the floor with us men. That's why AI girlfriends are really a thing. Because it's so easy. It's easy for a man to fall in love with something that's not real because of his imagination. And you know what also helps with that? Porn does the same thing, men. Porn does the same thing. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, is maybe we start asking ourselves some questions. Much as I, I fight and say that I care for men's loneliness, I do. At the same time, who's going to do something about it? Us. Us men have to encourage other men. Us men who have found, found a way out of this loneliness. Let's show men that there's a way out of all of this. Because once you get stuck in that endless cycle, 
and I'm not, I don't want to be morbid, but we know what happens in the very end. We knew that we lose another brother. We lose another friend due to the loneliness and the pure depression that comes with being lonely and realizing that you're talking to an AI girlfriend. I know that sounds stupid and it's kind of funny, but it's really sad too, to realize what you're talking to because there's going to come a day when you realize what you're talking to is not real. Your brain will come to the realization this is all fake. And you're 35 years old and you can't even form a conversation with a woman. And then everybody calls you a loser. And it just piles on from there, man. I've heard the story too many times. It makes me so sad. So men, please, get outside touch some grass for real. Go make some male companions. Go play some sports. Go do something. Go play chess. Go do something that you got to get out of the house and start talking to people again. Get offline. Forget online dating. Screw that. You're going to have to start figuring out a way to start getting yourself around people. It's going to help you, I promise.